So today I wanted to do a little video on a, you know, do a little review video on a website I've been using a whole bunch, especially for this new tank. And I know some of you have been wondering, like, where I've gotten all these plans. And basically, like, maybe this um, hardscape and all that. And basically, everything that's in the tank, except for the ADA, obviously, is, came from a website called um, Glass Aqua. Some of you might, a lot of people probably do know about them, but a lot of people probably don't at the same time. Um, and I've basically gotten everything I've needed from them, you know, scape wise. You know, I got the serious stone from them, and, you know, all the plants you're looking at right now came exactly from them. And, you know, I wanted to review them because they're one of the better, um, at least, plant, you know, aquarium websites. I have used ever and I've used a lot of used H2O plants um was it aquarium factory I think or yeah something like that I forget what their website is called but I've used a lot and glass aqua always has they've always had the best shipping and they've always just delivered the best plants like I've never complained about a single plant that came in so far <clears throat> the only reason I would ever complain about the plant is if I messed it up but they, when they give it to you, I mean, it's, you know, it's nice and healthy. Um, so obviously the Monte Carlo was like one of the first plants I got from them. It was a tissue cultured. Um, all the tissue cultured are um, UNES. And you might know that brand. They're, they make tanks and all that. Um, really good plants. They're, they always come nice and lush and healthy and green. No complaints there. And then they also, obviously for the stem plants, they have potted plants. That's the Nana Apeat came potted, and then that pearl weed came, yeah, it came tissue culture too. So you can obviously tell it's grown a lot since then. Um, and now, actually, it just got shipped out today. I got an email, but I ordered two more plants. One of them, oh, I got to look it up again, but it's just a stem plant. I think I'm going to put it in this love corner and see how it does. If I don't like it right there, I can always, you know, eventually trim it and then, you know, put it somewhere else. But I think, I think if it grows and bushes out pretty good in that corner, I think I'll keep it. And then, and then once that plant starts really growing tall, I'll put a sponge filter um, on the end of this filter just so, you know, extra filtration and biological filtration. Because I always want to put sponge filters, but I don't always like them, like, out in the open because it just looks ugly inside the tank. Um... So at least if a plant eventually covers it up, it won't look so bad. That's why I've never really put any on this one. Just because it's uh, the, um, the end tanks are so wide open. They're right in the middle of the tank. So I just never put sponge filters on that. But I definitely should because um, not that the, the fish that's going to go in here is going to be affected by because it's way bigger than the intake. But, you know, extra filtration, biological filtration, we definitely need that as much as we can because I might end up, I might just end up getting the, um, instead of a 30, get the 50 on this tank. Because I don't know if that 30 is going to, you know, be a forever filter we should have on this tank. I think we need something a little more powerful, especially with the fish I'm getting. But the the two plants that I did order from Glass Aqua, they get back on topic. Um, so that one stem plant, I'll try that out. It's just be really easy. I really like the color. You know, I really want some other plants to get other colors. Um, I always wanted to see a red plant, but... Until I get CO2, I don't I don't really trust myself into thinking I can um, really get that plant to look as good as possible in a tank like this. So I'm just going to stay away from red plants. Maybe we can always replace stuff down the road, but right now I'm just going to take plants that I know I can grow. But this plant has a little bit of copper color to it at the tip, so this might actually give a little more cooler color and give some... A little bit of contrast to this tank. And then also, just like this 40 gun, I have S-Rep and Bush right in the front. And that's what I'm going to try to... Now, obviously, I'm not going to carpet it because, obviously, i got the Monte Carlo. But what I'm going to try to do is this this rounded corner. Obviously, you can see it just kind of curves around. And I don't mind if it kind of, like, fills up this spot down here. Actually, that would probably be best because this Monte Carlo is only going to fill in probably... It's probably going to curve like this. And kind of film it. Maybe it'll get over here eventually, but like, it, I really just wanted to carpet this front and then see this extra space, like, when I'm circling around. I basically want all that to be Monte, not Monte Carlo, um, S Repins. And then this, I don't know if that's going to be a permanent plant in this tank. I, I'm just trying it out because I heard it was really easy and I really like the plant, at least the look of it. 
So it's going to stay in there for now, but, um, you know, if I don't like it, you know, I can just take it out and, you know, give it to somebody else. But, you know, just trying out plants and see what works best in this tank. Got a little dead leaf. I need to trim that off. Um, but I think that look really cool once it, you know, spreads out and we'll have a nice little curved bush. Now, in this tank, it has nutrients, so it's going to, these S weapons are going to look way better than they, they look really good in that tank, surprisingly. So I only, I only can know what it look like in this tank just because, you know, there's, it actually has a good soil and good lighting. So it might actually grow a little bit more tar, um, carpet-like in this tank. Especially when I'm dosing XL2, so it's getting a little bit of carbon source, and I'll eventually do ferts. Um, after I get these two plants, I'll probably have enough plants to start fertilizing, but I probably won't start just yet. I might actually confirm that with Glass Aqua and ask them about that. But after that, we'll have one, two, three, four, basically like five different type of plants in this tank now. What? But I'll probably let them all grow in and then start ferts, because once we start ferts, this tank will probably really start growing good. But... You know, I'd like the S-Reppins, you know, at least come out to here. You know, I still will get probably the height. Probably get the height of what this right here, probably I want this tall. I'm just kind of, you know, wrap around this rock. I think that'll look really, really nice. And, you know, I don't think, when I get the, when I get it, I think it's going to be a lot of S-Reppins. So I don't know if, I think I'm going to end up using it all because I think I'm going to plant it really close together so we really get a fast bush going, or at least a carpet. But if we do have extra, I don't really know if I'm going to, it would be cool to like stick a couple right here, stick a couple right there, but I don't want to get too crazy. It's just, you know, we already got this carpet that's going to fill in you know, probably, probably these corners back here. So I'm not going to get too crazy, but if we do, if we literally do have extra, I'll just throw it, I'll put some in the 40 gallon and see if they'll grow in. Um, Cause obviously us reverends grow pretty good in that tank. It took like nine months for it to do that but at least if we can get some grown in there and that we can always transfer you know let it grow out and then put it in a new tank something like that but you know that's just the plans that um i got for um the new plants come from glass aqua but glass aqua they you know i haven't really even said anything so far about them and it's already seven minutes in but um glass aqua is a really good company they sell, they sell basically everything that you'll need inside the tank. They got a little bit of stuff that from outside the tank. They, I mean, they're not so much equipment people, but they definitely sell the tanks. They sell the hardscape, you know, even soil if you want it. Um, but they sell, they sell a lot of tanks. Um, I think their biggest size is like a 20 gallon, 20, I'm pretty sure it's 20 gallon. Um, so they're not like you. you def if you want a big tank, you definitely don't want to you know go to them. But they all their tanks are rimless, so they have really quality tanks. Especially if you want to get little nano rimless tanks, they have really nice tanks. Um, probably actually gonna buy a nano tank eventually from them. You know, set up a little tiny tank on a desk here, maybe in a year. Um, but they sell all hardscape. They got serious stone, rudu stone, um, dragon stone. I think they got basically any stone that you could possibly, you know. All the common stones, basically, that you would, you know, see in major scapes and all that, and and so they they sell they sell them by the pounds. So you can either get like I think it's five or ten, and then twenty and thirty pounds. So this is thirty pounds. So I basically maxed out on what I can buy from their website. Obviously, you can probably put in a more quant quantity if you want to, but th this one this amount for this tank was perfect. Thirty pounds. It, it got you know. This hardscape really worked well with this tank, so, you know, pretty much what I wanted. You know, I, I really, if I had more ADA, I'd probably get really crazy with the rock. You know, really, you know, put a lot of, you know, snap some rocks, maybe crumble some rocks, you know, spread them around. I'd do something really crazy. And we can eventually do that um, in another tank, but this tank, you know, I didn't really know how it was going to work out, so I didn't want to get too crazy, but they definitely, um, without just not seeing what you're getting, I was so surprised as the the rocks that I got, I mean, that, like, that rock right there, I was so happy I got a rock like that, because I was wishing, at least hoping I got a rock that was like that, because that's, like, a perfect rock, like, when I pictured this in my mind, I actually wanted a rock just looking just like that, so I'm glad that, you know, I actually got some rocks that I really liked, and all these rocks are really well with the skate, but I'm surprised they, um, I really like how they really hand select the rocks, and obviously I talked to them before, so it kind of, they kind of knew what I wanted, so, if you guys want to go to their Instagram and always ask them questions, they can always, you know, help you with that. 
and they always respond super fast. So if you ever have questions, you go to their Instagram or even email them if they, um if you don't have Instagram. But they say they um they sell all kinds of CO two supplies, um regulators, um basically anything you can need for a plant tank, the fertilizers. They got it all. So, you know, if you're really a planted freak, um, their website, they always have really good prices. I mean, I've never complained. All their tissue culture at a good price. All their plants are really good price. I mean, you can get a good stem like I did for four or five bucks, and tissue culture are usually 10 to 12 just because, you know, they're um, disease-free, pest-free, so they're going to be a little bit more expensive. But um, 10 bucks is like a perfect price. I mean, that's usually what you'd spend with a stem plant and they usually sell stem plants at about four or five. Some of them a little more expensive if they're a little bit rare plant, but, um, you know, if you definitely want to check out Glass Aqua, I would really recommend their, um, company fast shipping every time. Like right when I order some, it's usually a day or two and it's already shipped out and it usually gets here in about a day or two also. So, I mean, once you order it, it'll be at your house in no time and you'll be able to get your plant tank going, get it all nice and planted from them. Um, so, you know, I would really recommend anybody going there. You know, I got, I don't got much else to say just to go buy your plants from now on from them, you know, and just, I actually got the website like pulled out right here. Um, they also have, where is that? Yeah, they also got kind of like kind of like what H2O plants does, but I don't know who did it first, so it doesn't really matter. But they also have like quick scapes, so if you ever have like a this certain tank, and they have all these quick scapes, they're a lot of them are nano, but you'll ha you'll find some like ten gallon, twenty gallon quick scapes sometimes, and you can also buy bundles. Like you'll get a tank, um, rocks and soil, just like in this picture, um, and a light. You know, you got a little nano tank bundles. But, you know, just like the rocks and wood, you know, serious stone, rudu stone, elephant stone, flat bottom serious stone, that would be nice. I almost ordered that at first. Um, Senso stone, mayonnaise wood, spider wood, um, fine sand. I did get some fine sand when I did get the rocks. I haven't used it. I'm just going to save it for another tank. But lava rock. So, I mean, really, any. There's no other rocks, I mean, I could possibly think of that they don't have. I mean, I. I don't see Dragonstone, but I think I think this um, Sense of Stone is just like Dragonstone, so not much of a difference, but not a lot of people use Dragonstone these days. I mean, not for, you know, planting. It's usually more the grayer stones people like better, but, you know, just like the goods, they have the, all the CO2 stuff you need, regulators, um, diffusers, fertilizers, twin star lights. Those are always nice, but, and you got free shipping or $50, sweet. Um, but yeah, and then the glass tanks, just like I said before, you know, we got all the rimless tank sizes. You can even get little bundles if you want to, but yeah, then these are obviously glassless for rimless tanks, which I need to get that soon, but you know, just a very clean, clean website. I mean, really like it. You know, nice plants, really nice plants. Um, all quality stuff. I mean, there's nothing on that website that's just cheap stuff. It's all, you know, stuff that works and stuff that will get you, um, I guess, what's the word? Um, best chance at a plant tank if you're just starting, you know. I guess you could say all that, but... You know, definitely if you're looking for stone or hardscape, I would definitely go to them. They're a lot cheaper than any other place. And you're definitely gonna get you're gonna you're definitely gonna get something that you like. I, I can tell you that now. But other than that, I mean if you have questions you can comment down below or you can you go on their Instagram or email them or contact them anyway. That I don't know what else they have. I'll have to check the website on their contacts, but um you can ask them questions, but other than that, I mean Go buy from Glass Aqua and get yourself some premium plants. And I'll see you guys on the next one.